Hi, Chad Gillis with Everglades Survival. Today I'm out in my expedition canoe on the creek um, in the Everglades, and right now I'm watching a great blue heron feed. It's not having a whole lot of luck catching fish, but it's pretty and it's active. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode, and please hit subscribe and like. Thanks. on the handle but this is the bushcraft and it's supposed to be really tough and I want to test it out because I don't really like the handle that much and if I knock it off I'm just gonna make a new one ooh not as sharp as it was uh, well yeah it's still a popping hair shot So cutting pretty good. I convex this edge a little bit. I, I like scanty grinds, but I put convex features on them. I grind the shoulders off a little, and I put a convex edge on the end, and I think it really works a lot. I'm going to try out a brand new companion uh, versus a companion that I've modified to see which one carves better. First, new Mora, $18.00. I got the stainless version because I'm on around water a lot and especially salt water. Uh, this is freshwater system, but I'm around salt water a lot, so it only makes sense. Um, this is the classic bushcraft knife um, all over the world. It's um, hard to beat for $18. So this is standard, obviously, right out of the right out of the packaging, and we'll see how well it shaves uh, feather sticks. C27 polished. I like the polished versions, although they don't strike on a ferrocerium rod. Now that's butter. That is just sheer butter. Wow. That is absolutely effortless. Oh my god. Incredible. Very soft wood, but incredible amount of shaving coming from it. My modified version. This has been convexed as well. The shoulders are off of it a little bit and the edge is rounded some. So we'll see how it carves as well. Oh my gosh. I think that might even be better. You think it'll be better with me polishing this edge? Since I'm gonna use a lot of the drag, a lot of friction. This is pretty keen. Wow. The Garberg is no uh, joke when it comes to carving feather sticks either. I've taken off the shoulders a bit and rounded the edge, some convexed it. Um, really tough knife, I like this a lot, and it is my main belt knife right now. If you like starting fires with sparks and other materials other than a Bic lighter or a match, this is your stuff. It's sable from a, a sable palm. This stuff is can be found all over the forest. I'm gonna stuff it up underneath this shavings and see if I can get a fire going.
and smother it. That's awful light wood. Chad Gillis of Everglades Survival. Please hit subscribe and like, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.